Hey guys, I bought this glass dome a couple of days ago, so I've been doing some pretty cool experiments with it. I've never really had one of these and walked into a, a discount shop and this was sitting there, $2.99 for this glass dome. <laughs> it's awesome. Had some backing on the bottom of it, I've taken that off. So I'll pop it right there. One of the first things I noticed is I was seeing this little red thing here. What the heck is that? Check that out. Little man. So where is that? Let's have a look where it is. It's up there. Look how big it is. That's huge. But you'll see the distortion that a dome will create. It's got some other items here. See that street sign there? 110. You'll see it inverts it. So what, what do we really know? You know, if we assume it's a heliocentric model, we don't assume we have a a glass structure or a solid structure. The Greek word for this dome, for the ferment, is stereo. I always thought stereo meant something to do with our ears, but it's actually a solid. It's quite amazing. Just how the lights react as well. So I've got one, I've got a laser thermometer here. And you'll see what happens here. Now, I might just switch the lights off, actually. So, you'll see with this, I'll see if I can get this, but I'm shining it right at the top. You know, could that be northern light effect? Similar, you'd say it is. Could be. Watch what happens when we go around the dome so a star on that side could appear on the opposite side of someone people say well, why can't they see the stars at the same time well if we don't take into consideration a dome well it's impossible but if we do well it is quite possible so there's some pretty cool stuff you can do with this I'll just go back here get that light back on so i'll show you with the light on see if i can get this effect happening very hard with this camera but You'll see what's happening here. So one light source can create several light source, different light sources or effects in the dome. Yeah, quite amazing. Here's another one. So it's got a torch here, one of these Cree LED torches. So let's zoom out first of all, see what we can do. So I don't know if you can see that, but instantly I've got a star almost appearing in there. I don't know if you can see that. You should be able to. I'll see if I can position this a bit better. Now let me get my shit together. Okay, you can probably see that happening, yeah? Here's another really cool thing. So this is like zoomed out. Let's zoom in, get a good uh, zoom on it, good focus. Watch what happens now. I wonder if I can show you what I replicated, but I can literally, what I, you know, you can see this thing moving around the like, one o'clock position of the dome and to me it looks like a friggin like a moon right i see that imagine i turn it see that moon i don't know how i'm gonna try and get it right yeah and when you look at the features it's quite stunning i showed my wife and look at that so we don't know anything actually until we take everything into consideration because that's what true science does. See that? It's like a moon. And to me, it, it doesn't appear that it's actually sitting in the structure. It's like out of it. It's like a hologram. So I try and touch it. I'm not, I wouldn't be trying to touch the, it's like I'm a, an inch above this dome that's here. It's really freaky. See, that's it there. That's a beautiful one. It gets bigger, it gets smaller, depending on, I don't know. Oh, shit. All I know is that we're going, to, we're going to reconsider everything. Everything is back for discussion, in my opinion, until we work out what's going on. And especially given, so you can almost have two moons in the sky that would be seeing, see that, guys? Two separate moons. We go, why can we both see the moon? Well, that's why we're both seeing the moon. It's, I bet you if you met, it'd be an inverted moon as well. Pretty freaky. I haven't seen that done before, so I thought I'd share that. 
But yeah, some pretty cool experiments. The laser. The laser's really cool. The effect you get with the laser is quite remarkable. I don't know. I don't understand everything. But look what's going on here. One light, because I've only got one laser here. And, you know, there's no one else around. <laughs> right? This is what they're doing to us, guys. They're sticking their tongue at it. Right at you. Laughing. All this time. But this is probably what it is. Who knows? Who knows, mate? But like I said, we know the heliocentric model has flaws. That means we have to reconsider everything. Everything. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? Oh, we'll go from the side there. Ooh. All the best, guys. The truth will set us free.